Hello, everybody. Jared back again, and welcome to another episode of NHL 21 Franchise Mode with your Vancouver Canucks. Okay, guys, we ended off last episode just before the trade deadline. We are having an absolute fantastic season, 82 points, 61 games. 41 and 20, not doing too shabby. Uh, Vasily Pakosin is doing pretty great too. Okay, before I jump into this, I want to uh, go over two comments I got, two great comments. One was from Colin Andrews, and he has a little bit of a saving grace for me. I've been complaining about all of the trade offers I've been getting, and he told me oh, that you can just go in, and yes, I've already actually set it up, um, to have trade offers be stars only. So you can have trade offers off completely, on or stars only i'm gonna stay i'm gonna stick with stars only if they want to send me a star go for it that's fun to look at but uh i don't want any of these minimal little guy trades the other uh set comment i got was from uh joe plays five and apparently he has been on my case about this for a while um but that was to look at the three on three so i went through special teams and i did three on three penalty kill but I wasn't thinking about three on three extras and what he wanted. And I completely agree because this makes perfect sense is all three Hughes brothers as our first three on three line makes perfect sense. That's amazing. Our first line is Jack Quinn Luke. That's amazing. So there you go, Joe. Hopefully that is what you were looking for. And I think that, that is a great idea. Obviously, if you got the three Hughes brothers, you want them all out at the same time. Okay, on that note, it is time to jump into the sim here. Although, before I sim, I'm going to do a little bit of trading. I don't want to do a huge amount. I just want to get rid of the garbage. I'm also thinking of going for possibly a first for a team that is willing to jump around here a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sim one more day. I just want to get as close to the trade deadline as I can so that... Uh, teams that are willing to give up their first will be more willing to give up their first if that makes sense uh yeah okay uh can i actually just get myself to the deadline day and then not participate in it i don't know let's see let's see if we can find anybody that is willing to get rid of that there we're just going to take a look around the league seeing teams that are struggling it doesn't have to be a like complete bottom feeder just somebody you're a conservative buyer i'm looking for a seller okay status of seller and that is the panthers is that that's pretty crazy actually i wonder if they don't even have their pick all right they do have their pick they do not want to give it up but because they are a seller there is a chance actually you know it's buyers that i'm looking for isn't it well let's just see what kind of um what kind of value we have so i'm just gonna say all three of these guys i doubt they'll go for this because they all take the same role this is league approved you guys wouldn't actually do this would you rejected um yeah you aren't excited about those prospects so it's actually is uh the conservative buyer that i would be looking at now do you guys have your pick you do they're maybe more likely to go for this it is this year right yes it is okay good any chance you guys are okay with this um you sent us more than you guys are willing yes so they are all basically exactly the same so in that case let's see if so vancouver's there can i get that's a little bit more even would you guys be interested in that uh, value isn't there whatsoever. I think we can probably make it worth your while. So let's take a look at uh, just everybody in general. See if there's anybody that has some decent value that I'm not that I'm not not really using. Let's go to the uh, league here. This is the way. Um, yes. Uh, wise. They do want wise, but he's a medium top six. I'd prefer not to if I don't have to. They also have this medium top four, but at 19. I'm going to try both of these guys in here and see what they say about this. Rejected. You aren't completely. The value isn't there whatsoever. Hmm. <laughs> what if I threw this guy in and took back you? Just isn't there whatsoever. I think this might be a little bit more difficult than I want it to be. 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to try something else here. All right, they said that they didn't want them because they were both the same. I'm just gonna try one more time to see if I can force it through with the first and only having two instead of all three of the goalies. They might say yes to this. I'm kind of hoping, no, they just, yeah, they only want you. One another crack at it, ah, oh, man. Hmm, all right, well, we need to get rid of those goalies somewhere. Let's just take a look at my value in general and see what I have to give up and if there's anything that I'm not horribly insistent on keeping. There is this guy. How are you looking? Are you a two-way? If you're a two-way, you're a playmaker. Okay, I do want to hold on to you. Uh, Lind isn't bad. Murphy is, I think we just drafted him, right? Uh, yeah, we drafted him in the first round in last year's draft. He's a sniper. He's kind of going to be a little bit sick. I think we want to hold on to you. There is this guy who's 22 years old, top six, power forward, though. Probably somebody that I want. We've had him for a while. We got this guy a long time ago, it looks like. He's not horribly panning out. 23, 77 overall. Probably nothing we're really looking at. All right, let's try the McCormick here, see if that's going to push it through. Nope. How about if we added in a second? We can absolutely get a second back from somebody else. And this, we'll start with our second. If they want uh, San Jose's second, we can definitely jump up for that. Still not saying it. How about our second? Come on, guys. The value is completely skewed here. Really? Oh, man. Both? This is, come on, this is this got to do it. Accepted. The transaction. So we got ourselves a high first. We really just have so much value right now that I'm not being too uh, panicky about what we're giving away. We probably want to see if we can get some more firsts for these guys. I want, I just want them out of here. So let's see if there is somebody doing a little bit better like Edmonton. Although we would want somebody that can actually, you know, wants him. Uh, you guys want him, but your guys' pick is going to be too good. Um, maybe somebody that is a little bit more middle of the road. Yeah, this would be a good example of a middle of the road kind of guy. Conservative buyers. Do you have anything on the block that I want here? Let's see. Draft picks. Uh, that first is a possibility. I don't think we're going to get it for just, uh, this guy. So let's see what else we have to throw in here to sweeten the pot a little bit. Uh, we have this low and this other low that might be enough to push it over rejected so not quite i'm gonna keep those guys in and we have mr airhoff here would that be enough to push it over accepted okay so there's another first okay that's two of those goalies gone we got two firsts out of it love to see it uh let's grab that last goalie here uh yeah we still have that fringe started to get rid of as well i'm not that's that, that can be a low low pick somewhere else uh, you guys are a seller. You do want this guy. Here's another possible first, although maybe getting a second might not be a bad idea either. If they have the first on the block, they don't. And I don't know if we'll be able to afford that first. Probably not. Let's find someone that's a little bit more up our alley here. Uh, you guys are a seller. You guys are a seller. Buyer. No, actually, we want conserve conserve we want sellers actually you guys wouldn't be having that on the block then no and you guys have almost nothing i think we had their pick their second uh this second could be affordable just this guy for a second it actually looks like it's a fairly good trade again we have so much value i'm just gonna go say go for that yeah you guys will accept that transaction of course you will okay so we have two firsts a second third third fourth fifth sixth, seventh so we are doing fairly well is there anybody i really want to get rid of here that i'm just sitting there and it's just piling up not particularly i mean we have this guy but i mean we're not going to get anything for him so i'm just going to leave afazavev whatever his name is there and uh d wise has a chance to get up there i believe we just got him in the fourth round last uh draft so i'm hoping he can pan out Okay, I think that is everything we needed to do. Uh, oh, no, wait, wait, wait. I have one more quick pick to get rid of. I don't want uh, this goalie in my system either. He's not going to do anything for me. A mid-fringe starter. Does anybody want you, Mr. Persons? I don't think so. So there is a chance, possibly, that we will just be able to get a, uh, a 
later pick for this guy? Like maybe a six? Will you give me a six for him? You won't. How about a seventh? If we can't get a seventh for him, then we will just leave him in the system there. Yeah, they don't even want to give a seventh. That's fine. He can stay there until he goes away. Okay, so from here, let's get ourselves simmed all the way up to the Stanley Cup, which, or at least the playoffs, certainly. Sorry, I'm pretty sure we're going to be okay, and we are definitely going to get in the playoffs here. All right, let's go right up to the end. We will see where we have uh, finish off. Uh, we are going to keep current trade block, uh, continue simming. Yeah, yeah. so like it does actually just sim all the way through. So you can't just go here and stop, I don't think. No, no, you have to sim through. Okay, good. I didn't make a stupid mistake. That could have been terrible. But good on me for not doing it. Okay, we have our first big one, uh, Nikes for a first Claymont and Morales. That's actually pretty. K I didn't realize. Uh, he must have got big, Nikes. I, I don't know. Uh, Teddy Bluger, view your information. Your center, eighty overall, fourth line, it's top nine. Oh no no no. Um. 85, 78, 85 isn't great. Your two way. Yeah, you have a little bit of... I mean, he's not terrible. In fact, he's overall pretty good, but I'm going to say no to you. I'm sorry, dude. You're not worth it, and our fourth line is doing okay without you. Get a loss, unfortunately. We did get 42 wins before that trade deadline, which is pretty sick. Let's see if we can hit at least 50 wins, hopefully 55. Um, you just keep best lines and get down there. Oh, right, he did get injured, didn't he, that guy? We are keeping the puck out of the net okay. I'm just going to keep replacing down there, but not doing as fantastic as I'd like. We really want why not. Ooh, actually, on that note, I don't remember if I'm still waiting on giving him a contract. I believe that I am. I might want to do a quick gander over there and see what it's looking like maybe after this next few days. Uh, they have fired their head coach. I'm kind of okay with our current head coach. Uh, I'm going to continue going through without going to the draft class. And I'm going to break there just to see if I'm pretty sure we still have not signed our goalie. Have we not? Podkosen is still doing fantastic. He's absolutely going to break that 50 goal mark. Love to see it. And then it's mostly just our Wallstead that is going to be the problem, isn't it? He's still saying no. What is he asking for? Now, what I might do, uh, I have cap space of a 9 million. I'm going to offer him one year at 9 million. See if he says yes. I know you're not interested in, in an extension, but we can, uh, after he gets that in there, we can see where we're at at that point. Hopefully he says yes. Uh, I don't want to have to go into next season without a goalie. Uh, he's, he's, he, we drafted him. We want to keep, keep with him. He's, uh, he's done very well for us. He's had some pretty good playoff runs. Um, okay. He has decided to resign. Okay. So we're keeping him for one more year at 9 million. Hopefully he can prove himself worth that contract. He's absolutely proving it right now. 52 wins. Can we make it 55? We have to win three of the next five. Look at this. We only lost one game in overtime. That is absolutely insane. Oh, you guys, come on. You could have done it. Ooh, oh, got a shout out. Come on. Oh, no, 54. Still an absolutely dominant season from the vancouver canucks 97 points for vodkozen but silly podkozen sorry not vodkozen uh, let's take a look at our team stats first and then we will go into player stats um so we get the division quite dramatically although anaheim ducks had a pretty good season themselves let's take a look at our goals for versus goals against our goals for is absolutely we got we dropped below that four point four goals a game which sucks but still did pretty well um when it comes to goals against, we were second in the division. Not bad at all. Anaheim were a pretty dominant team. Let's look at our power play. Now, we dropped off a little bit, but 31.6 is absolutely insane. We were deadly on the power play there. Uh, looks like we were okay in penalty kill, above 80%, which is fine. Uh, and then if we look, we are 31, 9, and 0. So we were, again, so dominant on the road. Okay at home, but dominant on the road let's take a look at 
the entire league to see where everybody lined up. Uh, where are we? There we go. Points. We have won the presidents. That's amazing. Uh, conference winners, Kent division. Oh, okay. They did a division title. Wow. So two Canadian teams that are absolutely wrecking the league up here. Let's take a look at goals for. We beat out the New York Islanders and the Rangers. That's pretty hilarious that they're... Uh, oh, never mind. Just, uh, one didn't make the playoffs. Wow, that's crazy. They had that many goals for and did not make the playoffs. I guess they had a decent amount of goals against. Uh, like, there we go this way. Uh, we were in the top six. Toronto and Columbus were both doing very well. Toronto in particular. I wonder if Freddie Anderson is still there. I'll have to go see who actually is playing for Toronto right now. All right, power play. How do we do? Best in the NHL. Penalty kill. Uh, middle of the road. Well, technically top eight. Yeah, top eight. Great. And shorties. Uh, we know where we've seen, but there were 16 shorthanded goals for Columbus Blue Jackets. That is crazy. Shorthanded goals against. Oh, ouch. Washington Capitals. 20, basically, tw shorthanded goals against. Wow, Josh Washington has dropped off dramatically. All right, let's take a look at points here. All right, so EP40 and uh, Vasily Podkosin are doing great together. Brock Besser still putting the puck in the net. So is Army X. Quinn Hughes as at a 93-point season. I'm hoping that that's going to put him in the Vesna running. And uh, Jack Hughes and Ma both in the above 70. Actually, Jack Hughes was a point per game. He was injured for a few games. Luke Hughes did well. Bo Horvat rough, sitting around the 60 points. That's what I'm looking for, particularly being on the third line. Let's take a look at goalies. Um, dropped below the uh, 9.0 save percentage there. Actually, both of them had exactly the same. Mikey got the points I wanted from him. Um, goals, goals against average is actually better than league average, I would say. So not doing too terribly there. Let's take a look at defensemen in general here. All positives. Yeah, did pretty well. I'm not mad at all at those points. Uh, let's take, oh, whoops. I want to see the entire league. Who was winning in points here? So can I go entire league? Yeah, McDavid in, and Dreisaitl are absolutely tearing it up. But you know what? Um, he's not that far out of it, um, Podkosen. He's he's in the conversation. There's a lot of people there, but he's in the conversation. Wow, I think I just saw somebody that got 65 goals. I mean, 66 goals. And, well, you know what? Connor McDavid is sitting there with 65. Yeah, there's quite a few people. So 52 is not a Rocket Richard season right now with uh, this kind of goals going in right now, which is pretty crazy. I love that goalie scores that many goals. Absolutely fantastic. Let's see who the assist point leader was. Quinn Hughes. Wow, nice. That's amazing. All right, let's take a look at just defensemen, see who's going to win that Norris. I mean, there's there's no question. It is going to be Quinn Hughes. Look how many shots he takes in his goal. Like, you put the puck in the net, dude. If he had, like, even a like, 0.5 goals uh, shot average, he'd be getting, like, a 10, 10 goals a year. It'd be great. But no, no. Time on ice is pretty awesome. Doesn't hit, but he does block some shots. All right, let's take a look at uh, forward. See, he's going to get that Selkie. So looking just at forwards. So we are looking for this. We want giveaways, takeaways. So let's take, let's take a look at takeaways here. Um, Matthew Suave. Ooh. Look at this guy. 93, 83, 88. Wow. All right. Pretty good. Uh, Th Thomas Hurdle. So I'm looking at the face-offs there. So he's the first one that looks like a possibility. Uh, Gutsev, there's a possibility there. Uh, Clayton Keller, actually. Pretty, pretty good. And Crosby, actually, is still in the uh, conversation there. Anybody else? Uh, Trevor Wong is definitely in the conversation with that face-off percentage. Yikes. Yeah, possibly, and uh, he sure as well. We'll see. So the for, yeah, I guess we already talked about this. is takeaway, giveaways, and face-offs, as far as I understand it. All right, let's take a look at goalies. See who did well, who did terribly. We need to be in minimum of, let's do 40 games. What do we got? Got a couple people with a better uh, save percent average. Okay, here's the reason why Toronto was doing so well. They have an 89 overall, uh, Shesterkin. Doing pretty, pretty well. 
but there isn't a huge amount of players uh that got above a 9.0 thatcher demko there proving us that we should have kept him around apparently yeah you're you're on the lower end here mr wallstead i'm sorry to say dude you're definitely not going to be getting that nod i mean you're not terrible when it comes to goals against average but you really need to get that save that uh save percentage up there dude not overly stoked on that particularly for being a nine million dollar man all right let's get ourselves up to the first round of the playoffs here and see what it's looking like who are we up against the kings who have been having a absolutely raucous raucous they've been doing very well let's just say that they've been uh doing so well now that's because they have a quite a few stars sitting on that line uh i was about to say zagres but they do not have zagres look at this first line though niermeyer and jt miller if you weren't a two-way dude i would have kept you around but they just hate two ways in this game all right we are going to look for la which is down here i think yeah they're just los angeles kings and turcott and byfield wow look at this center depth and then Kadri all the way down on the fourth line. Now, I would obviously have... Wow, he's set at his role as a third-line center. Crazy power forward, great defensive awareness. Oh, God, he'd be so nice to have on the team, wouldn't he? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is amazing. And But then, uh, yeah, obviously they have their goal scorer here in Turcotte, who's absolutely amazing. If I look at his career stats, I think he got over 50 goals this year. Almost. But he's been a point per game. 45 goal scorer for the entire time he's been there for the most part. Love that. So that is a pretty awesome first line there. What about Lutzer? Yeah, just a 21, 22, 23-year-old first line. That's amazing. They even have Gunther on that second line. And then on defense, not bad. So a bunch of 82s. Really, only this uh, Diropos is the only big, big name who has got some great defensive awareness, decent offensive awareness, too. How does he get for points, this guy? 45, 50 points? 31 points. Okay, so he's not a huge point getter, but he's uh, he's doing pretty well. So nothing to sneeze at on defense. Oh, and then they have Demko. Okay, yeah, they are definitely going to be a struggle. So we're going to have to deal with those guys right now. All right, boys, let's get in this. No, no, no. What am I doing? Actually simulating. Good Lord. All right. So let's get ourselves up to the fourth game here. See how the first three games play out. Three to one loss. Come on, boys. Come on. Ah, yeah. Five to two win. And then another loss. Not looking good. Down two to one in the first three. Come on, boys. Can you do it here? Come on. Ah, there we go. Two to two. All right, up to game five. So what's that game five going to look like? And it is a win, which means we are looking to eliminate the Kings in this game here. Let's go to Simmit and see how we do. Come on, boys. That's your Demko. He's got nothing on us. He's got nothing, nothing at all. Simming the first period. It is three to two for them. God, debt scores one. So does Podkosen, but the Turcot. The Turcot. Turcot gets two in us. So does Lutzer. All right, guys. Next period. We both put one in. Uh, man, they're big boys. So that's their D-man. And then Brock Besser. Cannot, can we come back and get this going here? Come on, boys. Uh, we're going to play and go eight speed. There we go. I got to remember how to do all these things, guys. Come on, boys. Let's, let's, let's get them out of here. Six game. I do not want to take this to seven. They do not feel the same. <laughs> they want to go to game seven. Come on, boys. We can do it. Come on. Come on. Stop taking penalties. Oh, I don't think we're going to be shutting these guys out. Yeah, Gunther comes out with the six to three. We take a beating and they push us to a game seven. Come on, boys. We are not exiting in a, the first round here. That's not happening. We've been to the Stanley Cup Finals two years out of the last three. We at least got to get through to round two here. Come on, boys. Up to game seven against Los Angeles. They've got a good team, but do they have a better team than us? I don't think so. I think that we can do it. Come on, boys. I'm looking for a four to one win. That's my that's what I want. Godette. Good man. Love to see it. All right. Period number two. 
Look at us, five to two. Quinn Hughes, Army X gets two, EP40 gets one, Kadri and Garvin gets one on Wallstead, but he's basically holding the door shut for us. What a man. Come on, boys, let's get simming here. Come on, last period. Oh, Garvin gets another one. He brings some back some life to the LA Kings. Can we hold them off? Come on, boys. Oh, come on, guys. Do not let them scare you. Put away one more. Let's get a safety. Come on. This is too scary, guys. We got to get a safety. They are desperate. Get a puck in on Demko. Are we just going to hold out for a five to four? Or are they going to come back for a scary one? No, we hold out five to four. Doing okay. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, scary, guys. So scary. All right, let's take a look at what the team has done stat-wise. Well, actually, let's get up and see what our next opponent is going to be at the same time. And it looks like we are up against another team of young guns that we look at fairly often. Quinn Hughes. He is just passing that puck like a madman, getting all kinds of points. Look at the player stats here and see how everybody is racking them up. Brock Besser doing well. Quite a few six and five point players. I'm not going to be too mad about that. We do got to get a little better. Hopefully, uh, Wallstead's going to get a little bit better in net there. All right, let's take a look at uh, what the Ducks have to offer here. So, JT Miller, who's obviously got some stat growth since we last saw him, Zegres and Niedermeyer. So, Niedermeyer is the weak link a little bit on this line, but still a half decent player. Arbromov is also pretty sick. And then Sam Steele, Nick Schmaltz, Kyle Palmieri, uh, Wenberg, Logan Couture. Oh, man, he must have really dropped off. And then uh, Isaac uh, Lundstrom, Lunderstrom and another Gunther here. What are they looking like on defense? Ghoul, Poink, Anderson, Niku, Fowler, and Carl. Wow. So if they beat us, it's our fault. We gave them Carlo. Not a bad defensive core. And then Gibson is still wrecking face. 33 years old, still an elite goalie, exact starter potential. He is going to be a bit of a problem. But Ben Bishop. A 40-year-old Ben Bishop still holding it down as a 79. Love to see it. Ah, sorry, guys. I've uh, been streaming a lot. Voice is starting to go raw. I'm holding it together. I'm holding it together. All right, let's go and get this next series simmed. Okay, let's see what these guys have in store for us. I'm feeling fairly confident. I'm feeling very confident. Let's get these first three games simmed up. I'm going to say we are going to win two of them. Maybe we're going to win three of them. Are we going to sweep the Ducks here? That would be absolutely insane. All right, let's see what we got against these boys. All right, period number one, two to one. Uh, Fogel and Besser, love to see it. Nino Niedermeyer gets one on us, but I think we can hold them off. Ooh, they come back. Raquel and Zegres. Uh-oh, boys. Come on, we got to get them out of here in four. That'll be a great story. Come on, boys. Put the puck in the net. Let's just get rid of these boys. Let's get rid of these squids. We don't need them here. Brock Besser. There you go, bud. Three to three. Oh, but Nick Schmaltz says, no, 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 no. I think we've got some life. I think we have some life. Come on, guys. Shut these guys up. Put the puck in the net. Man, we haven't got any shots for a long time. Come on, boys. Come on. Shut these guys up. Force an overtime. Come on. Oh, you guys can't give these guys any life whatsoever well moving on to game five we have three more chances to uh shut these guys up but i don't know we're gonna see come on boys let's see what we got i'm just thinking there we go okay sorry i was looking at something there all right, first period, Luke Hughes on Gibson. Good man. Second period, Podkozen on Gibson. This is very, very promising. How are we going to do here? All right, just a second. I was just wanted to see something. Okay, that is how you would get into the game. Sorry, I just got myself a little bit confused. Uh, sure you want to exit? Yes, I want to exit. There we go. I want to make sure I know how to actually get into the uh, game itself because <laughs> I need to do that. It's been a while. Uh, okay, let's uh, keep Sim in here. Uh, this is the third period. Good thing. Good thing. There we go. All right, boys. Are we going to shut them out? Are we not playing? We're not playing. Sorry. Had my hand on my glass of water there. Oh, good Lord. My voice, guys. It's going raw. It's going raw. 
all this the cheering for our boys here and it looks like we're going to be doing some big cheering here because it looks like we are going to the conference finals big oh 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 Vogel makes it a three to nothing Wallstead finally shuts the door for us love to see it boy that is amazing look at us go all right eight and four and they're five and three let's see if we go up to probably the fourth is where we're going to need to get to before we can see who our next uh opponent is uh nope not yet fifth nope how about the six avalanche Ooh, a bunch of big teams nathan mckinnon and rantanen are still wrecking face there brock besser has 10 goals in 12 games that's absolutely fantastic let's see what the avs have in store for us so i'm gonna go down to colorado i was like avalanche is an a what are you guys talking about so the big three are still wrecking face up on this line and barakovsky is at 85 which i love to see yeah what a great guy um this is a pretty uh scary top six i must say well it's a scary top three i don't know about top six but these three guys ranton is getting older they probably they're they're kind of in their window right now i think still in their window i guess but uh Ooh, they must have some pretty big injuries. Who's scratched? No, wow. Although Nemeskov at a 77 is uh, pretty crazy. Um, they do not have anybody scratched. That's crazy. So that means that that 76 overall, or 73 overall. Miko Hinskinen? That's not the normal Miko Hinskinen, is it? I don't know. Okay. Oh, I'm thinking Miro has getting in. That's weird. All right, so this guy is a 20-year-old rookie, probably, who, yeah, that's going to be a weakness there for you guys. I'm con I'm concerned. Oh, wow. How did you... Did you get here? You did. They got here off of a 73 overall goalie. If they beat us, I'm going to be pretty ragey. Here's hoping that isn't a problem. All right, so uh, how are we going to do here? All right, simming the first three games as per usual. See where we're at for game four. Lose one, win one. Uh, not going to deal with scouting right now. Lose another one. Down two to one. Come on, boys. All right, so they have a chance to beat us in the fourth game if we lose this one. Nope, win two, two. So let's get up here, see who gets the third win. That is us. That means we are looking to get rid of the Avs in game six here. Am I right about this? I am right about this. Let's see. Can we get them out in this first game? If not, we have one more shot. I'm hoping we can, uh, you know, hit the nail on the head on this coffin right now. That would be very nice. Period number one. No goals. Wait, what? There we go. All right. Uh, is that the second period? Either way, it is 3-2 for us. Let's get going here into the third period. Yeah, so that first period, nothing happened. It was just a, a bunch of leg there. Are we going to hold these guys out and kick them out? No, they come back for a 3-3 three three tie. They have life. Come on, guys. There we go. Cole Lynn, third line hero, making it 4-3. to three. Come on, guys. Dishearten these guys. Dishearten these guys. They have a 73 overall goalie, guys. We should be peppering them. And Brock says, yeah, I hear you, dude. I hear you. I'm the 10-goal man. I'm throwing all kinds of rubber at this net. Ooh, they have a late power play, but not enough. We kick them out, and we are about to head to the Stanley Cup Finals for the third time in four straight seasons or four straight seasons. And then one season where we did not do too well. And it looks like it is going to be a Canadian team taking home the Stanley Cup. Let's go take a look at the Montreal Canadiens, see what they are looking like. Brock Bether, 13 goals. Brock Bether. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, viewing lines. Montreal Canadiens. Let's see how you guys are doing. I'm looking at... I'm pressing all kinds of wrong buttons here, guys. Uh, Montreal, that's probably down to the bottom, right? Or at least closer to the bottom. Montreal Canadiens. All right, Drew Ann is holding steady. Not bad. And then, well, it's definitely their centers that are doing the thing, isn't it? Cock and Yemi. Still 91 overall in his, his role is as a second-line center. That is amazing. He would be an amazing second-line center. 
great defensively, great offensively. What a guy. Gallagher at 35 is still holding steady at an 84. Yep, doing well. Nick Suzuki, third line is what they have him rated as. Not bad. I would say that in real life, he's a little, well, he's a bit better defensively. He's really good at defensively. I probably would increase his defensive stats if I was to play this season, this uh, franchise mode over again. I believe uh, Tatar called him a mini Bergeron the other day. <laughs> doing pretty good. All right, and Gabe Velarde, how are you, dude? Yeah, pretty good. So they're they're a little bit scary. Mostly scary down the center. I think we have them in overalls. We definitely have them in goalie. Ooh, Braden Hopi. Wow, your jersey actually kind of fits there, doesn't it? 37 years old, still holding steady as a uh, backup. I've never heard of this Tucker tie-in. I mean, I don't want to uh, judge you by your looks, but your eyes are really close together there, dude. Interesting looking dude. Sure, he's cool though. And he is doing not bad. 21 games played, 12 wins, 9.4. Does that mean that uh hope he played a little bit? Uh yeah, 16 games. Well, they've been splitting pretty well here. Hope he has crazy numbers in the playoffs here. Absolutely insane. All right, let's see where this gets to. All right. It's time to do some simming. All right, boys, let's see what we got here. Can we take these guys on? All right, simming up the first three games. Can we win one or two of these? Come on. Luke Hughes has been injured with a fractured jaw June 1st. Oh, no. That does not bode well. Not bode well at all. Oh, no, you levy. This is your time, I'm afraid, my friend. All right, and we're going to throw in what's his face. Oh, I haven't do it. I don't have him up. I guess I don't have him up. Never mind. We're gonna have to grab somebody here. So let's grab. Well, he's still down there, isn't he? Um, no, no, no. It's gonna be editing lines. I need to grab. What is his face? Armadio, who does not quite fit the scheme. Um, we're gonna do edit lines. I'm not gonna best lines any of that shit. We've actually been doing okay when it comes to you know keeping that uh injury bug at bay for for the most part and armadio i think this makes this a negative oh no actually just a uh, zero i'm not too mad about this not too mad at all you're right left you're left right okay great you two are gonna have to hold steady down in the comments i'm gonna say best lines and let's keep going seven to three four to three th wow are we going to come through and sweep these boys let's see Okay, guys, game four. We have a chance to sweep the Montreal Canadiens for the Stanley Cup. All right, period number one. Two to two. Olevi getting put up into a new role and Brock Besser and then Gallagher and Velarde for them. Period number two. Still 3-3. Three, three. Cole Caulfield and Army X are two weapons of goal destruction. All right, period number three, boys. Let's see how we're going to do. Let's go four speed. If I have to jump into the game here, I will. If we look like we are going into tie or even going into win, I want to see us raise that Stanley Cup. Come on, boys. Come on, finish him off. Finish him off. Oh, it's looking more and more like it might be going into the overtime. Last oh, power play. Army X. Is that, a, is that a hat trick or just two goals? I'm not too sure. All right, let's get ourselves down to the last little bit here. Oh, they come back. Chubasov. Oh, come on, boys. Power play, power play. Nothing. All right, let's slow it down here a little bit. How are we going to do? How are we going to do? All right, just a second here, boys. Last minute. Ooh, there, oh, oh, no, 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 no. I want to go in. Can I not go in? I can't go in? Elias Pettersson scores the goal, guys. I'm so sorry. That is totally my fault. It wouldn't let me hit it. it. Wouldn't let me stop it. No. Well, we have just won the Stanley Cup. Elias Pettersson scores the goal. Oh, I'm so mad. I'm so mad. Brock Besser, two assists, one goal. Army X with two goals, two hits, and Brendan Gallagher. Well, we have finally done it, boys. We have won the Stanley Cup. I believe this is our eighth season or our seventh season, but we are finally have our name on that cup. And on that note, boys, 
that is where I'm going to leave the majority of this series. Um, I wanted to go until I won a Stanley Cup. This is kind of how far I wanted to go with this series. I've done it. We did it in eight years. Probably should have got it a couple of years earlier, but it is what it is. Um, this isn't the end, though. I do want to see how PD and everybody's seasons finish off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the rest myself. And I'm going to do another quick video next week showing you end of season stats until, you know, PD and Quinn my the two big guys that I really want to know how their seasons finish off sim out. We're going to see what their career stats look like, but that is for next episode. This episode over. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey. Like comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in other episodes on my channel. If you want to see more NHL, please let me know down in the cameras down below. I'm probably not going to do another series right away, but I am thinking about making a, my own team kind of thing and following my own team through a franchise mode series. So let me know if you have any interest in that. And if you have any interest in maybe a team name, also leave that down below or maybe on my Discord, which is um, in the links down below. All right, on that note, bye everybody. Thank you. Thank you.